good morning. It's B Tracy again with another DIY. Y'all ask, I'm going to give you. Y'all ask, how do y'all cover these flasks with the pitcher? I know I did the thing on the rolling tray, but I didn't cover it to show y'all how to cover this. So, please like and subscribe to my channel. I see y'all liking all my stuff, and I like talking to y'all, so just keep hitting me up. It's all good. So, I have a piece of paper here. First, what we're going to do is make a template, because it's important to have a template, because you really can't measure these things, so we're going to make a template of our own. I try to do things easy as possible. I'm going to make my own template. That way, once you make this template and you, and if you have a cricket machine or if you don't have a cricket machine, you can make this template and still keep it because you can always go back to it when it's time to cover another thing. So this looks like the size that I need right here. It's good to make a template, a go-to template, and make sure it's a little bit longer. See, it's on the end, so we're gonna make it a little bit shorter again because you don't want to have it too much hanging over the side. So I'm just gonna make this nice and simple for y'all. Y'all can sign up for my Facebook group, Crafting Together as One. I'm almost at a thousand people within almost a month. Yay. Y'all really like me, don't y'all? <laughs> All right. So, you see how I made the template? I made it, and you see how it's fitting perfectly in here? This is gonna, this is my go-to paper. It's gonna be after your go-to paper and the measurements for this, in case y'all didn't get it. It's a little bit under five. It's like four and a half point something, not sure, but when you have you use my Cricut Design Space to come up with that, with that print, because once you get it, you have to print the picture out. So what I do, I measure, put it around here like this, and I'm gonna mesh, cut off what I don't need, and then I'm gonna go into my Cricut machine, I mean, in my, in my Design Space, Whatever design space you have. And I'm going to fold this over because you don't want to overlap too much. I'm going to overlap it, but not too much. Because what we're doing right now is creating a template. So we're going to cut this piece off. Sometimes it might take more than one try, but you can make a template for everything. There you go. There's your template for the flash. So now I'm going to go in the computer and I'm going to put the size in on my Cricut Design Space or whatever y'all design space y'all using, put it in. So, so far, what I have is nine. My paper is nine inches wide. Nine inches wide. That's how wide my paper is. The box I made on here is nine inches wide. So now we need to measure up and down. And so far it's a little bit more than four and a half. So I'm going to shrink it and start at the four and a half mark. Because four and a half and then we're going to add... We're going to add more to it. And when y'all actually get these measurements, then you keep these measurements and save it into your design space. So it's four and a half. And then you have one, two, three more dots. So we're going to add one, two, three more dots. So about 4.8, I'm going to do for height, height, 
and height j 4.8 so i'm gonna do a 4.9 because nothing wrong with going over a little bit so let's go in here and find a picture some type of picture Let me see what I've used in the past that I might want to lose again. I done did her. Um, can't do a TikTok, guys. That's not for kids. <laughs> Yee. Let's do let's go with the Louis Vuitton. It don't look wide enough. See, it has to be wide. All right, we're gonna go with the Louis Vuitton. Let's go with this one. I like that one. So this is in my Cricut Design Space. I'm gonna go with that. So you see my picture is too small. I'm gonna stretch it and see what it look like. Cause sometimes when you stretch stuff, it makes it look funny. Okay, that's gonna look nice. So I got the whole top and bottom there. That's going to be a large Louis Vuitton sign. Let me just go over here and slice it out. All right, so this is going to be my size. Don't know if I like it too much. It doesn't cut half of the Louis Vuitton off the bottom. Let's start over. I'm gonna shrink it, shrink it, make it smaller. That's what I'm gonna do. That way, a little bit of time be in the middle. And then I'm gonna slice again. I think I like that one better. All right, now that we have the image, we we'll get rid of the one in the back, and I'm gonna. Make it continue. I'm not going to use my cre cut to cut it, I just use my cre cut design space for stuff. So I'm just going to print it and then I'm going to cut it my own self. So now it's going to send, send it to the printer. So now we get to the next part. So that picture was a little bit distorted. I didn't like it. So I found this one in there. So I'm going to use this one. I'm just going to make it, stretch it out to the size that I'm using. All right, and then I'm going to slice it out. All right, and for those who wants to learn the pre-cut machine, Need to get in touch with Yolanda. She's on my Facebook group. And hit her up. She does classes. Um, 
She's very entertainable, and you she can learn from her. So hit Yolanda up from the Facebook group, Crafting Together as One, for the um, pre-cut classes. If you want to learn how to do what I just did for us, putting the picture here and slicing it out, hit Yolanda up for one of her classes. So I got one of these slices. I'm going to put this description down there. You want all your work to be neat. So that's where the slice will come in at. You don't want to have your jagged edges. So I'm going to cut it out and I'm going to see what the size is. So I showed y'all how to make a template of your work. Even if you got the, if you're doing sublimation cups or if you're doing anything and you can't get the measurements, Take a piece of paper and measure it yourself. Measure it, figure it out, and then save it into your design space. So you can always have it as a go-to. So I have my picture ready now. And I picked this one because this one will look a little more better. So I'm gonna make sure it's not over where I want it. So y'all ask for the flask. And then I'm going to do the flag. So as you can see, my measurement is a little bit off. So I'm going to use my slicer. And I'm going to slice some off. Just slice a little bit off. And I'm going to slice a little bit off on this. And sometimes it's going to take time. But, you know. Everything has to be patient. You have to be patient with stuff. All right. I think I got it now. So now the measurements are perfect. And when I finish with this Louis Vuitton flask, it's going to be nice. So y'all already know. <laughs> there you go. Always about that Mod Podge. Y'all better get that Mod Podge, that whole big giant gallon of Mod Podge. Y'all know I love my Mod Podge. And keep it in this little cup so I can always have some extras. And the foam brushes, I'm going to put the link down there for the foam brush. You can get your 50 pack. Because you need these foam brushes. Because once you use it, you don't use it again. Because it gets hard. So, there you go. I'm going to cover this with the Mod Podge. You know, a nice little layer on here. And then it's it's people out here who can't use the uh, resin. Um, Charmaine talks about crystal lac. I really haven't researched it to find out what that is yet. But I will talk to Charmaine and find out what it is. Because when I typed it in, I couldn't find crystal lac. So I don't know what what is it. But I did watch a video that she did. And... Is this, um, she said there was no smell and all that, so that's a good thing. But this don't bother me, this smell. So we're going to just cover it up. Start with the, make sure the bottoms are down now. And we're just going to wrap it like that. And I guess I'm using, um, 80 pound cardstock. I like the cardstock because it's, it's thicker. And then the silver won't bleed through it. Once you get that silver on there. Sometimes, like if you use thin paper, it will bleed. But you can use regular typing paper too if this is too stiff for you to use. So that's all I do. Y'all ask me how I do these things. And it ain't nothing different than what I do with everything else. I'm just going to... Use Mod Podge. That's all I'm doing. Using Mod Podge pretty much for everything. And I, one person hit me up or, uh, on, on YouTube said, Girl, I thought you was going to use Mod Podge when you were putting that picture on the table. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. We're not putting Mod Podge on the furniture. <laughs> Maybe I'll figure out some way to put Mod Podge on the furniture. Shoot. It works for everything. That's why we can't put it on furniture, too. <laughs> but no, 
I guess I, I guess she was shocked. They knew I wasn't using my surprise on the furniture. So just layering it up, putting some on here. That's all. And then when we finish, we put a nice coat on top of it. Just let it, because you want to put a coat on top because I'm going to use resin on mine. And resin tends to bleed. Don't that look nice so far? Look at that. that. Y'all see that? Y'all know I'm just going to sell. As soon as, I, as soon as I finish this video, just going to sell. Look how nice it sealed that. And then with this nice stiff car stock, you can't get no better than that. Then we're going to put a nice thin layer on here. And y'all know, if y'all watch my other videos, I like to use three layers. Only because three, because the paper bleeds. When you put the um paper on there and you add that resin on it, it's going to seep through here. Believe me, it will. So I just like to use a nice thin layer, three layers of it. And that's it. So I'm going to put my, do my three layers and I'll be back. And y'all going to get these flasks and the link is down the bottom. It's going to be in my subscription for these flasks. Get these flasks. Y'all know these is going to sell. Look at that. Personalized Louis Vuitton. It's got a line back there. We're not doing that. We're going to cut that line off. I'll be back. So my flask is dry. I'm going to apply some bling on it. I like the gold. So I'm going to put gold around it. And then I'm going to cut it off. And use E6000 because you want to make sure it don't want to come off. Not that it might, but you never know. Just add a little bit of E6000 down there. I'm going to use gold because gold matches this brown. Make it look sexy. And then I'm just going to cut this piece off. Give it a chance to dry, y'all, before y'all put the resin on it. And then I'm going to put a strip on top, too. So, y'all wanted to know how I did these flasks. It's easy. Uh, my, my, my way of doing things is always going to be easy. Especially when you're doing a whole bunch at one time. Just know, if you're going to put white paper on the flash, like a plain white picture, you must spray paint it first with the white background. If not, the silver is going to seep through. I already experienced that one, so. Yeah, it seeps through. Some more reason why the metal, the metal shows through the, the can. So, I think, and... Because I tried to um, cut the space, I tried to cut, I had a space in the back because I didn't make sure, I didn't make sure I covered it, you know, when I cut my paper, it made sure you cut the white off of it or it would show. So, but that's no problem. I'm going to cover this white up here, this little space. This little space back here. Because I don't want that to show. So I'm going to make this part of the decoration. Nobody won't know. I'm going to stick this one back here. So I'm going to make it extra. Like I did it on purpose. How about that? Because there's always a way of fixing something. Yeah. 
Y'all can't tell me that ain't cute. OMG, it's so cute. It's so cute. So y'all already know about the risen. Y'all can continue to watch if y'all like. But basically, that's how you do it. I'm going to seal mine with risen because I don't know if somebody's going to get it wet. Seal it with risen or seal it with something, some um, thickening. I need to buy some more thickening. I noticed about that thickening when I buy it. Once you use it, it kind of goes bad for some reason. I don't know why, but it went bad. And I only used it maybe one time or two times and it went bad. So, if you're going to do risen, just keep your... Um, Make a thin layer. You don't want to make it where though it's going to drip. Because I did it in a drip. And you don't want it to drip. So basically you just want to put a thin layer on there. You don't have to put it on top of the bling part. Because that's going to, um, you know, a nice little thin layer of resin. Here is the resin. Let me put the link on in the description so you can see it. So basically I'm just coating it with a nice thin layer so when it dry it dry that glassy look and nobody can't tell that i add a piece of paper on there when i'm done no oh, they know it's just cute oh that's all they care about that is cute it's different so basically i'm just going to just do a thin layer not to the point where it's going to drip you don't want to drip but you still want it to have that you know thickness of a one there because you don't want it too thin and somebody get it wet in the paper and stuff start falling off not that i know if it will most people everybody liked my flash when i did it when them bars start open back up y'all gonna want these flasks because Every, all the prices of everything done went up. Yeah, I might be paying $15 for a drink by the time you go to the bar now. Because they know people going to be ready. Ready to hit them bars and hang out and spend time with their families and their friends. I can't wait my own stuff. Me and my husband, we like going dancing at the Jamaican spa. Cause he Jamaican, so we like get our dirty wine on me and Kelvin. All right, so I got a thin layer here, and then I'm going when I finish, I'm gonna sit this in the window, let it dry. So pretty much my video is over. Please like and subscribe to my channel, y'all. I have a lot of ideas, and this is just a little bit. Basically, I'm just going over right now things I've already done in the past. And then there's some other stuff I want to learn. And I'm going to learn with y'all because I'm going to do it without prepping, without doing it first. You know, a lot of times you want to, you don't want to look crazy on video. But I'm not worrying about looking crazy on video. Y'all understand. If y'all don't see my mistakes, y'all don't know what y'all own mistakes going to be. So I don't edit it. I don't crop. I don't take out stuff. I'll keep it like it is. If I don't like the picture, I'm going to say, oh, I don't like that picture. Let me just go find another picture. Because y'all might not like y'all picture. So, hit me up and let me know what y'all think. Y'all ask for the flask. Here we go. It's all done. Wear gloves when you put the resin on it. If you can't take the smell, find something else to put on there. So here we go. So I'm going to sit this somewhere and I'm going to let it dry. But look how pretty that is. You can't tell me y'all wouldn't want to be outside with that. Bye.